Yeah, we knew it was certainly a possibility. Um, the, the client knew this was a possibility. Um, we might even uh, suggest that it was a probability in light of the circumstances. Um, so I wouldn't say she's surprised. I, I don't even think I'd say she's disappointed. Um, this is a really tough case with a lot of issues. Uh, the accused here, her mental capacity was so diminished uh, that um, you know, getting a reaction from a verdict like this is, is even difficult. We need to review the decision, see if there's any errors that we think um, re require uh, scrutiny. But at the end of the day, it's going to be up to the client to decide to appeal this decision. And um, you know, with the placement request made by the court to have her at RPC, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if notwithstanding any errors, legal or otherwise, that we saw in the, the court's decision that uh, I never get instructions to, to uh, appeal the decision, but that's a decision that she'll have to make in the next 30 days. I'm very satisfied with the decision. I think it was uh, well thought out and that the, the judge obviously took the time to analyze the law and interpret the law which is what was needed to be done in this case and came to the conclusion that in this case the meaning to be given to section 72 sub a of the youth criminal justice act is that what and that's what the crown was arguing that it had to be age related immaturity um, that in order to rebut the presumption of diminished moral blameworthiness um, unless the person was acting as a result of age-related immaturity, that something like a cognitive disability didn't factor into that part of the test. In this case, the offender's behavior um, was due to, um, in part, um, to her, likely to her FASD diagnosis. But despite that, that doesn't prevent the Crown from, from overcoming and rebutting the presumption of diminished moral blameworthiness. Unfortunately, this is not an uncommon occurrence, meaning that there you know, are individuals out there that are suffering from fetal alcohol syndrome, unfortunately. Um, so committing violent crimes when you're FASD is not something um, that's uncommon. So this, this issue could arise again and again. Um, it's important that the, the um, FASD isn't factored into that portion of the test. Otherwise, it would become impossible for the Crown to seek and receive an adult sentence. And an adult sentence in this case was necessary to protect the public.